Just start the, start the audio. I don't care about the video. Let's go. The Gemara says, we're starting the Flamid Vav. The Gemara is trying to figure out how you make a beracha, how you make a beracha on, on, uh, on Shemin Zayit Bore Priyayet. The Gemara supposes that since when you drink Shemin Zayit plain, it's mazik or it's, it's no good or whatever it is, you, you're not going to make a beracha like that. You will make any beracha. Now the Gemara says maybe you eat it with bread, you dip your bread in it. The Gemara says if you're dipping your bread in it, it's a tafel to the bread, and you're not going to make, you make a hamotzi, it covers the, uh, it covers the, the oil. Says the Gemara, Ela de kashati le'al yede anigron. Anigron is some, some, some type of a vegetable juice, or, or uh, like, almost like a soup. Rashi says, de kashati le'al yede anigron. The Amar Rashmuel, anigron maya de silka. Rashi says, mayim sheshalku bahen teradin. It's water that you, sh- you cook beets or or uh, spinach or spinach in and and what and then after you cook the spinach in it you wanted to drink it so they would put oil with it okay whatever the drink is ansigron maya de kulu shalke that's water of all different types of cooked vegetables and then they would put oil in it and, ma- and drink it as a drink imken if that's the case havele anigron ikar veshemen tafel in that case, the anigron is the main thing. And the shemen is only like an ingredient to sort of smoothen it out or something. V'tnan, and we learn, ze'aklal, koshu ikar ve'emo tefila, anything that's the ikar, and with it is a tafel, mevarech ala ikar, you make a bracha on the main thing, upoteret tefila. The Gemara says, hacha b'mayas kenan b'choshesh b'grono. We're talking, he's drinking the, an, the, uh, the, uh, What's it called? The anigron, but he has a th- sore throat. And the oil is what he's looking for. He's looking for oil to sore the smoothest throat. The tanya, like we learned, ha-hoshesh b'grono, if someone has a sore throat, lo yar'inu b'shemen tehila b'shabbat. He's not allowed to gargle oil on Shabbat. He would take the oil, like you do with mouthwash, so that it spends time, it spends time in his throat. Rashi explains, ha-hoshesh b'grono, he needs a lot of oil. Now you could learn this. Uh, this is talking. What, what we make it. We're going to make a bore on the on the olive oil when the guy is a hoshesh begrono. So you could understand this. Rashi v'tzarich la tet bo shemen harbe. Sounds like when you when you make anigron when you have a sore throat, the recipe changes. He puts extra oil. So it sounds almost like the, the, the shemen zayit is a rov, or it's, it's a, high, a higher percentage, or even if it's a minority, but because that's what I'm, I want, that's what it's for. So Rashi says, Lo, uh, the ritva, the Rashba says, no, there is no different in the anigron. It's the same recipe. But when, you, when you're drinking it because you have a sore throat, your da'at is on the shemen. The anigron is coming there, just to give it a little taste, to make it taste good. So therefore, that becomes the, it, it becomes the tafil. Anigron was a very hot drink. It was very popular. So the, wow. Power drink, power drink, very good. Meaning, is it edible or it's not edible? It's a regular drink. They didn't only make it, they didn't only make it for when you needed it. It wasn't, it wasn't for sore throats. Because if it was for sore throats, you wouldn't be able to have it on Shabbat. Lo ya'arenu b'shemen. Rashi says b'shabbat. What does he do? The mashheh le betoch gerono. That he leaves it in his throat. Ve'eno bol'o and he doesn't swallow. Ve'kivan de lo bala' because he doesn't swallow le. Muchecha milta. That shows de l'refu'ahu. That you're doing it for medicine on Shabbat. Ve'chachamim gazru al kol refu'ot anikarot. Ve'chachamim ere gezera. On any noticeable refu'ah. Because most medicines were made by, by grinding, the Chachamim said, if we're going to let you take medicine on Shabbat, you're going to wind up grinding on Shabbat to make the medicine. So all medicines became Asur. Does that mean like water and salt? That would be considered- water and salt gargling would also be considered a, a medicine, yes. Tehila. Kilomar lechatchila. Lo yitena shemen befiv leshem erur. Kiim leshem belia. 
So Rashi learns, Lo yara'inu b'shem entehila means don't put the water, don't put the, the oil in your mouth on Shabbat to gargle it and spit it out. But Rashi holds it if you want to, if you want to swallow, if you're going to swallow it, then on the way down, you could do a little gargle. Because you're, 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 you're drinking, it's okay. If he wants to leave it in his throat, he could. Aval, now here comes the, uh, the, the, what we need. Aval noten shemen arbe letoch anigron ubolea. If you want, you could put a lot of oil in your anigron. You're having anigron for breakfast anyway, every day. Today, you have a sore throat. Go heavy on the oil. Put more oil in the anigron and then swallow it. So you see, you see that, what's it called? You see that, uh, that when you, when you, when you drink anigron with oil, is good for the fuah, and the anigron will be the ikar. Again, how, how the diuk is from Noten Shemin Arbe, is it like Rashi, that when you have a sore throat, you actually uh, change the recipe, or, or is it just showing that the anigron is the ikar, like the rashba? Either way. She says, Gemara Pshita? Of course. Of course you should make ha'etz. Why shouldn't you? So according to Rav Yud, Amashmul says, Shemin Zayim Vachim Ala Bora Pri Ha'etz, is going on when you're drinking anigron. So why not? Mahu de teima, I might say. Kivan de lirifu'ah kamechaven. Why is he drinking this anigron today? He's not drinking it for the taste. If he was drinking it for the taste, he wouldn't have been putting so much shem and zayit in it. Must be he's drinking it for the fu'ah because he has a sore throat. Kivan de lirifu'ah kamechaven. So that's not eating, that's rifu'ah. Lo livrich alek lal kamash malan. So he teaches us, kivan de it lehana amine. Since he has a hana'ah from it, he has to make a beracha. So it comes out that anything says to us, what given the ilihana, when it ima devarim, the ima dam shot, shotem mashkim, ima mashkim raim. If you're drinking cod liver oil, that's nasty. You're not making a beracha on that. But the let lehana amine, because that's the lashon of the Gemara. The lashon of the Gemara is, the lashon of the Gemara is, kivan the it lehana amine, by beruche. If you're having an ha'ah, you have to make a beracha. Most people that would tell you that they're not having an ha'ah from cod liver oil. So therefore, you wouldn't make a beracha on it. That's but, the over there, it's, for sure it's, for not because it's, the, it's either way, it's for the I'm drinking it for the fu'ah. I'm, I only drink it for the fu'ah. I wouldn't. But if, it, if, it's a, if it's a good thing, let me finish. If it's a good thing, if it's tasty, and you're having an ha'ah, you make a beracha. If it's lousy, you don't make a beracha. That's what Tosot says. You're drinking orange juice because you have a cold. This is good stuff. Make a bit of, you dr- we're, not, we're not dealing with that, the question of, of chases now. You're drinking the orange juice because you have a cold. You wake up in the morning, I feel stuffed. Okay, give me a big glass of orange juice. That's what's it called. You're drinking grapefruit juice because you think it's good for your diet. Whatever it is, as long as it's something that's tasty, something that you have an eye for, you have to make what's it called? You have to make a beracha. The question comes up about flavored medicines. You have a, you have a medicine, a cough syrup, that has, they put a cherry flavor in it. Do you make a beracha or not? So, Hamaliyah is of the opinion, he says, listen, he says, when we're talking, uh, uh, we're talking about a food. You have orange juice, you have something. It's a food. When you take a medicine like that, all it is really is chemicals. On top of the chemicals, they put a little bit of sugar to make the chemicals go down a little bit better. He says, that's not called kivan di ilahan amine. Over there, the sugar is to fill to the medicine to make it that you don't pass out when you're taking it. For that, for that you're not making a beracha, even though it has a good flavor. And it's almost like Tosvot says, ra'im ra'im l'shtot. It's ra'im l'shtot. So they put a little sugar, it's a little bit less ra'im l'shtot. It's not something that you say, hi, give me a, give me a triaminic. Give me a Robert Tassid. Nobody would drink it. Okay. Kim had the on 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 wheat flour. Rav Yehuda Amar Rav Yehuda says Bore Periha Adama. Rav Nachman Amar Shakol Niyabid Varo. What's the Mahlokir about? So we'll see. Amar Le Rava Le Rav Nachman. Lo Teflog Ale De Rav Yehuda. Don't argue on Rav Yehuda who says. That it's uh, that it's bore pri adama. The Rav Yehuda, the Rav Yohanan, the Shmuel, Kaimi Kavate. They both hold like him. The Amar of Yehuda, Shmuel, 
וכן אמר רבי יצחק, אמר רבי יוחנן, שמן זית מברכין עליו בורא פרי העץ. On שמן זית you make בורא פרי העץ. So what, you, what does it have to do with flower? על מה יסי אף על גב דאשתני במילתא קאי. The question of, of, of Kemach was like this. The Kemach, it grew as a wheat kernel. Now you took it and you smashed it to smithereens and now it looks like what's gold. Now it's powder. So do we say it's nishtana and therefore the beracha changes to shahakol? Or do we say no, even though it's nishtana, the beracha stays. That's the, the fundamental question we're trying to see from, from here. What happens when you take a fruit, and I change it into something else? Does the beracha change or not? So he says, you see from olive oil, olive oil changed, right? And you make it, you, you still make a bore peri ha'etz. Alma avagav de ishtan, it changed. It's not olives. It was olives. Now it became olive oil. I, that went through a process too. That, that, that's a process. Alma avagav de ishtan, it was solid, now it's liquid. Well, how much do you want? Avagav de ishtan, it's milk te kai. What's that? He's eating raw flour, yes. He's really hungry. Okay. There's a question about it. Bobby's right. There's a question. There's a question if raw flour is what we're talking about. Some want to say, some want to say that it's only talking about uh, Tosafot. Look in Tosafot, Bobby. Kim Hadichite. Nir'e de lo mari be kim hamamash. It's not talking about regular flour. The imken. Lo shai chabe beracha de bore pri adama. He says, oh, gosh, a flower, come on. El amayri bekim ha shekorin is kaltir. O bekim ha shosim is shibolet shual shem yabshim betanur. I think this kaltir is like they used to, they would roast, roast the wheat, it's sweet, and then they ground it and it was more of a thicker type of a flower. So it was, it was somewhat, somewhat edible. The shitam ekubet, the, the, the ritva, he says, the Gemara doesn't say that. I don't think that's the pshat. It's talking about all types of flour. He, he goes on from there to say, he said, there's machloket between the Tosfot and the Ritva. But the Ritva says, it's talking about all flour, vehar, and the ayah from here is that flour is not considered enor oilachus, and because it's not considered enor oilachus, if the goy bakes the bread on Shabbat for himself, you're allowed to have an ah, because it's not considered nolad. Anyway, so the Gemara says, the Gemara is discussing, from the fact that the flour, the wheat changed into flour, did it change the beracha? Alma, we see, avagav de ishtane, even though it changed, be multekai. Hachinami so too here. Avagav de ishtane, even though the wheat changed into flour, be multekai. It stays the same. Rashi says, kim hadechite, ochel kem hachitim kemot shehu. Bore pri haadama, kish arko says hachitim. Like anybody that's chewing wheat, the tanya lekama be perkin. So to hear, he says, no, the ishtane, the gara, it got worse. We'll see that in a minute. Since it didn't get better. Says the Gemara, Midami, could you compare olive oil to flour? Hatam, when you got to olive oil, it changed. Let le iluya aharina. You reach the final stop. That's as good as it gets. That's why, even though it changed, it got to its best form, you make bore priyaits. Hacha, over here by flour, itle iluya aharina bepat. There's another level to get to. It could become bread. So it changed, and it didn't get to its right form, therefore it's shako. Flour, wheat is meant to be eaten as flour. So you'll tell me, yeah, when you change something, it make, you make aits, when it gets to the level that it's supposed to be eaten in. But over here, where it's not in there, you make a what's it called? You make, you're going to make a shakum. Says Gemara, V'chi'it le'iluya harina lo mevarchina le'bore pri adama. If it has another level, you don't make adama, ila shakum. V'ha'amar bizera, amar madna, amar shmuel. Akra haya. Akara haya, and raw squash. V'kim had se'are. And barley flour. Mevarchin alayu shakum niya bedvaro. You make a shakum. So why does he say barley flour? My love, the hite, which is tastier than barley, bore pri adama. The reason why he was medayek to say barley flour is because wheat flour is bore pri adama. Lo, the hite nami shakol niya bedvaro. 
wheat flour is also shakol ne'ab dvaro. Says Gemara, if that's the case, l'shmoina dehite the koshkin desare. Tell me wheat flour, which is at least something good, and and certainly desare. He ashmoina dehite. If you tell me wheat flour, have amina hani mili dehite. Aval desare lo levri chaleklal. You'd say wheat flour is something good. Barley flour. No, we didn't even make a beracha at all. Kamash malan. So when he says akim hadis se'are, he means even kim hadis se'are, lefachod, you still make a shakul on. Says, umi gara, mi melach vizamid. Says, why on earth would you think that you don't make a beracha? Because it doesn't have such a good taste. I got melach, zamit. Rashi learns zamit is pickle juice. Salamuria. What? Taste, taste, taste. Melach vizamit, that nobody eats them, and still the tenan, ala melach, the ala zamit, mevare omer shakol ni abid varo. So, so how, how bad could Kim Hadis Se'are be? Could it be worse than zamit? Could it be worse than melach? Can't be worse. So that, that because the taste is lousy, that's not a reason not to make a beracha. Kim Hadis Se'are is lousier than Kim Hadis that's a, that's a given in the Gemara. No, but not only that, the taste of it is also, right? It must not be so good, yeah. Says Gemara, Melach vizamit avid inish de shadi lipume. No, Melach and Zamit, sometimes people will put it in their mouth. The guy's bored, he's sitting there, there's some Melach on the table. He goes like this, right? Or Zamit, the pickle juice, don't ask me why, but he's drinking it. Aval, Kimcha. Kim had the se'are, but barley flour, ho'il ve le kukiani. Barley flour sometimes leads to intestinal worms. Lo livri chale klal, don't make a beracha. Kamash malan, it teaches us, kivan di idlehana amine, he has some benefit from it. Vai beruche, you have to make a beracha. What's the obvious question on this gemara? The obvious question is, you're telling me that it's kashe le kukiani. That sounds like it's mazik. And if it's mazik, how come you have to make a beracha at all? Intestinal worms. Tola'im shebimei'im. So what are you going to say? It's a problem. You have to say elamah. The other thing is mazik mamash. And over here, it's, 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 it's at a risk. What are you going to say? On corned beef sandwiches, you don't make a beracha because it's kashet to heart attacks? Right, that's what it, Okay. No, no. I, if Shem and Zai, you said you don't make a beracha because it's mazik. Uh, this is also mazik. How come you, you make a beracha with him? I, I don't know that it's only mazik. Where did you see that? So, one second. According to you, if I take a teaspoon of Shem and Zai, I make a beracha? Maran is posek. You don't make a beracha on Shem and Zai. doesn't say shiur. That's because it's mazik. Because it's mazik. Because it's mazik. Shem and Zayit, Maran, Im Shetao Kemot Shehu, Eno Mevarech Alav Klau, Mishum Dazuke Mazik. Does he say a shiur? He doesn't say a shiur. What? Whatever you want to say, you don't make a beracha on Shem and Zayit. So that's, that's the end of the Gemara. The maskana of the Gemara is that on Kemach you make Shehakol Nehiya Bidvaro. What? And Bali also makes shakol ni abed varo. It lahana amine bai beruchem. Kura, kura is we'll, we'll call it hearts of palm. Look in Ashi. Rach shel dekel. It's the soft part of the palm tree. Kesha anafav gedelim bechol shana. When the branches grow every year, bechol shana v'shana. Kederach kol ha'idanot. Hanosaf b'shana zu rach. The new part is soft in the first year. U'b'shana shnia in the second year in mitkashev in asa et. It becomes hard like wood. So the Gemara says, Kura, Rav Yuda Amar, Bore Peri Adama. The Shmuel Amar, Shakol Ni Abid Varo. Rav Yuda Amar, Bore Peri Adama, Pirahu. Because it's a fruit. You eat it. It's good. Shmuel Amar, Shakol Ni Abid Varo. Ho'il Vesofole Akshot. Because since it's going to become hard, you can't, you can't call it a peri. It's part of the tree. 
<laughs> it's, you can't call it a peri. A peri it doesn't get hard. It's edible now. Mitkashe. Wait. Anyway, the Gemara is going to change from there. Amar lei Shmuel of Yuda. Shinina. Kavatech mistabra. It makes sense like you. Why? That it's what? That it's adama. The hatsenon is a, is a fidgel. No? So for the akshot, it gets hard. Umivarchin ale bore peri adama. Rashi, shem eno tosho beito mitkashe kaetz. So he says, Velohi. So you see that mitkashe is not, is not a problem. I can make Adama on something that's mitkashe. Velohi. Tznon nati inchi adata defugla. When people plant the tznon, that's what they plant it for. So we see now that in order to be, in order to make, to have a beracha of Adama, it has to be that you plant it for that. Right? Tsunon nati in shiadata de pugla. Dikla the tree lo nati in shiadata de kura. They don't plant it with the intention of eating the kura. They plant it to play, to eat dates. So once in a while the guy gets in the mood, he takes it for the what's it called? Rashi it's like the Yabra. Dikla lo nati the Yabra is a little different. Lo nati in shiadata le echole takura. Sheha ochlo. When you eat the kura, he's lessening, he's lessening the branches of the tree. The tree doesn't grow as high. Nowadays, they do plant it for the hearts of palm. It's a big industry. So therefore, it could be the hearts of palm should be, should be Adama. What? The cashew, they always planted for them. I don't know that it dies. What? Why not the It could be a ta'ets too. But over here, it's, why does Gemara say Adama? According to the Yudah, why do you make Adama? Why is it not a peri? If it's a peri, it should be a it. It's not a peri, it's the tree. Could be. We didn't, we didn't see that Sivara inside. Okay, we'll talk about it. Let's see. V'chol ha'echa. Now the Gemara is. V'chol ha'echa de lo nati lo inchi adata da'achi lo mevarachin anale'e. If they don't plant it for that purpose, you don't make a beracha of ha'adama. V'aret slaf. Slaf is capers, right? So now on the caper bush, there's four, there's four items that are edible. You have the evionot, which is the main peri. It grows into a fruit-like thing. You have the kafrisin, which is like a peel that grows on top of the caper. Nowadays, we really are eating the kafrisin, not the evionot, not the main fruit. They pick them small and they eat, them, they eat the kafrisin. But in those days... The main fruit was the evionot. If you don't pick it, it falls off. And then you have the you have the alin. They can eat the leaves. They have a nice taste. And you can eat in the leaves. There's a little berry. So there's four items. Let's see. The haret slaf tenati inchi adata de farha. People plant it for the fruit. Vetnan and we learned al minen on the different types of fruit that come from the slaf nitzpe slaf ale alin on the leaves ale timarot on the on the leaf berries. Why? They're not the main. They're not the main thing. So you see that and the and the kafrisin, even though the kafrisin is not the main thing, you make bore priyats. Amar of Nachman bar Yitzchak. Tzlav nati inchi adata deshuta. The tzlav the people plant with the intention of eating all these things off of it. Leecholet alim vetetamrot. Doesn't 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 take away from it. So you can make adama. Dikla, do not inchi adata de kora. The dekel they don't plant for the kura. Says Gemara. Avagav de kal se Shmuel of Yuda. Hilchita kavate de Shmuel. The halacha is like Shmuel. The kura is shakol niya bidvaro. That's 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 the standard halacha because they don't plant it for that. If you tell me nowadays that they plant it for the kura, maybe the, maybe the berachah becomes adama. It's a, it's a, it is. You're right. It's a new thing. They have special plantations for it. At the time when I learned this, 15 years ago when we learned berachot, so I looked into. At the time they said some people pick them wild and some places they have plantations. I think nowadays pretty much it's all plantation. Amar of Yehuda Marav, slav slav shel ora. I think adama. Amar of Yehuda Marav. Tzlaf shel orla bechutz la aretz. When you have tzlaf of orla, so orla, like we said, the first three you can't eat it for araltem orlato et perio, right? Tzlaf shel orla bechutz la aretz. 
זורק את האביונות ואוכל את הקפריסין. He says, throw out the berry, eat the caper. If the main fruit is the berry, so throw out the peri, and, you, and the, rest, the rest of it is not a problem. Right? Lememra, you're telling me, the evyonot peri, that the fruit, the slaw fruit is the main thing. The kafrisin, yeah. The kafrisin, la peri, and the kafrisin is not the peri. You said, if you said ayat, it was the peri. If you say, what I was going to say, vitamin hu, on the tzla fruits, on the leaves and the berries, you make bore peri adama. On the, on, the, on the berries and on the capers, so why are you saying bore peri It's because it's the peri. If it's the peri, it should be asur in orla. Says Gemara, who da mar ki Rabbi Akiva? He holds like Rabbi Akiva. The Tanam we learned, Rabbi Leizer Omer, Tzlaf. Now we're going to talk for Maaser. Tzlaf mit Aser temarot ev yonov kafrisin. He says everything besides the leaves you have to take Maaser. It's all kol peri. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says en mit Aser el ev yonov bilvad. The only thing that's called peri is the ev yonot. So now we have three shitot. We have Rabbi Akiva says only the ev yonot is peri. We have the Baratav Berachot that says the Evyonot and the Kafrisin is considered peri. And we have Rabbi Leezer that says the Evyonot, the Kafrisin, the Evyonot and the Timarot is all considered peri. Mepineshu peri, only the Evyonot is peri. So he's saying, we hold like Rabbi Akiva. I hold like Rabbi Akiva, throw away the Kafrisin, throw away the Evyonot, eat the Kafrisin. Says Gemara, Veneim Halacha. Veneim Halacha ke Rabbi Akiva. So say the Halacha is like Rabbi Akiva. I would say they hold like that across the board. Kamash Malan, it's not true. In Eretz Israel, you wouldn't be able to hold like that. In Eretz Israel, you have to throw the Kafrisin also. But Kamash Malan, call him a kill. But Eretz, halacha kimoto bechutz laaretz. Whoever is lenient on Orla in Eretz Israel, we could be mekel like him in chutz laaretz. Rashi says the reason to be mekel is because Orla in chutz laaretz is the Rabbanan. The Ma'asir, we don't hold like that. We hold Orlan Hutzla, it's the Oraita, and it's a halachala Moshe Misinai, that's a fake Orlaz Mutar. So the same thing over here, we hold, it's a fake Orlaz Mutar. Says Gemara, Ava Ba'ar, it's law, but in Esau, it's not like that. Says Gemara, Venei Ma'alacha Kirbi Akiva Bechutzla Aritz, they call him a Kirbi Aritz, Alacha Kimotu Bechutzla Aritz. So say, Alacha is like Bechutzla Aritz, they call him a Kirbi Alacha Bechutzla Aritz. I Amarach, if he would say like that, Hava Amina, I would say, I would say I'm only holding like Rabbi Akiva in Chutz La'aretz by Ma'asir. Because Hare, where's Rabbi Akiva talking? He's talking by Ma'asir. I'd say you only hold like Rabbi Akiva by Ma'asir. Even in Eretz Yisrael, Ma'asir Ilan is Rabbanan. She tells us because me you only have to take Ma'asir on Dagan Tirosh Vitzar. So therefore, what's the problem? You're going to tell me hold like Rabbi Akiva in Chutz La'aretz. And you're going to take Ma'asir only from the, from the Evyonot. What's going to happen? This same guy in Chutz Laaretz, some places had Ma'asir. In Bavel and in Mitzrayim, they made a takana to make Ma'asir. And so he says, you're going to hold like Rabbi Akiva in Chutz Laaretz. You're going to take Ma'asir only from the, from the Evyonot, right? Then the same, this, this Bavli guy is going to go to Israel. He's going to say, Bavel, this is what we do. We hold like this. You guys don't realize that it's only because Chutz Laaretz is the Rabbanan. So, but, but big deal, even in Israel, it's the Rabbanan. But if you're going to come to tell the guy to be mekel by Orla, and Orla is going to throw, throw away the Evyonot, eat the Kafrisin, then he goes to Israel, it's the Oraita, maybe I won't let him be mekel in Chutz Laaret. Maybe I'm only mekel in Chutz Laaret by Ma'asir, but even if he goes to Israel, it's also the Rabbanan. But to be mekel in Chutz Laaret is something that if he goes to Israel, he's going to wind up touching an Isu, the Oraita. Maybe I'm not mekel. Hani mili gabe Ma'asir ilan. Debe'er aret kufa mit Rabbanan. That in Israel is mid oraita. Ema beutz la aretz. Nami nixor atu. He might come to Israel and make the same kula. Kamash malan. No. That even by orla, we let you be mekel in chutz la aretz, and we're not worried that you're going to come to be mekel in Israel still the same way. Ravina ashke chile mor bar of Ashi. Ravina found mor bar of Ashi. The kazarik ev yono the kachil kafrisin. He did the daf. He's doing like that. He took the Evyonot, he threw him out, and he was eating the Kafrisin. Amar lei, my da'atach, why are you doing like that? Kirbi Akiva. Why are you being mekel like Rabbi Akiva? 
the mekel, and because he's mekel, and you're in chutz laaretz, call a mekel baaretz. Hala chakim otu bechutz laaretz. I got a better kula for you. Le'avid more kibet shemai. Why don't you be mekel like bet shemai and chutz laaretz? The mekel itve. They even more mekel. How are they more mekel? The tenan slaf. Bet shemai omrim kelaim bakerem. Ubet elel omrim en kelaim bakerem. The rule of kelaim bakerem is you're not allowed to plant seeds in the kerem with you. But you, but you are allowed to plant. You are allowed to plant trees. So now, slaf is a bush. Where does a bush go? Is it a tree or is it a plant? So, so, so that's the mahlokit. Bet Shammai says, kilayim bakerim. Meaning it's not a tree. It's a plant. And if it's a plant, there's no, there's no, there's no orla either. Right? Bet el omrim. And kilayim bakerim. It's not climb because it's a tree. If it's a tree, there is a lot. So if, if you're going to hold like Bet Shammai, that you hold it's a plant, Fadal, eat the whole thing. The whole slaughter, do it like Bet Shammai. Yeah, he's making it. It's a chumrah there, it's a kulafas. Says the Gemara, Alma, Elu v'elu modim, everybody agrees, Shehayav be'orla. Now, Hagufa Kashya. Amarta, you said, Slav Bet Shammai, Omrim Klein Bekerim. Alma minyaraku, you see it's a vegetable. The hadar tani, then it says, elu elu modim shehayav beorla. Everybody agrees he hayav in orla. Alma mini lanu, you see that it's a type of tree. Halo kasha, that's not that's not a question. Bet shemay sefukem is safkalehu. Bet shemay is not sure if it's a betelel knows that it's a that it's a plant that it's a uh, that it's a that it's a tree, right? And bet shemay is not sure. So therefore, the Avdi the Mahmir by Klayim, and the Mahmir by Orla. So now, comes out, if I hold like Beit Shammai, it's only Hayav in Orla, Misafek. Right? Mikom Akom le Beit Shammai, Havale, Safek Orla. Vitnan, and we learn Safek Orla, Be'eret Yisrael Asur. If you have fruit that's a Safek Orla, in Eretz Yisrael it's Asur. Why is the Oraita? Ube Surya Mutar. In Surya, they brought you the fruit. You're not sure if it was. Surya Rashi says, <laughs> the Rambam says, Halab. Aram Soba, Shekavash David, Behosifa al Givul Eretz Israel. So now, it's not, it didn't become fully Eretz Israel because, because he didn't conquer the rest of Eretz Israel first. He didn't get the whole thing. So Hashem said, Kibush Yahid, because you didn't conquer the full Eretz Israel first, therefore, why'd you go conquer? You should have done what I told you to do first. Oh, it's like uh, in between Eretz Israel, right? So behutz surya mutar or behutz la aretz yored velokeach. You could go down and you could buy from the guy's field right outside. Why I know he has orla plants inside. Ubelvad, it's a halacha la Moshe Misinai that it's mutar. Ubelvad shelo yirenu loket. As long as you don't see the guy picking it off the tree, you could buy. Says the Gemara. So now. Let's follow Bet Shammai. Bet Shammai holds that what? Bet Shammai holds that that slaf is is a safek tree, safek plant. So I'll in chutz laaretz I'll be posek like Bet Shammai and I'll eat everything. Don't, didn't you tell me you could be mekel like the lenient shita in chutz laaretz? So why are you being machmir? Why are you being machmir like Rabbi Akiva? Be mekel like Bet Shammai. Says Gemara Rabbi Akiva b'mkom Rabbi Leizer avdin and kavate. Rabbi Akiva against Rabbi Yezer. That that's that's a valid machloke. We could we could we could follow him. So it's still a safek. It's still a, a mekel. Bet Shemai b'mkom Bet Elel and the Mishnah. Bet Shemai against Bet Elel. The halacha was totally nifsak. Like Bet Elel, it's like Bet Shemai doesn't exist anymore as a safek. So I can't tell me call a mekel about it. Bet Shemai is gone. It's, it don't exist for a safek anymore. <laughs> Bet Shammai is a safek. I don't know what it is. Uh, probably Adama. Says the Gemara, v'teipu kleim. So now that's, that's settled. Now the Gemara says, one second. You're telling me that the kafrisin I'm allowed to eat because I, I'm going to hold like Rabbi Akiva, that the only thing that's the peri is the, is the, is the, is the evyonot. And the kafrisin, which is like a, 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 a peel that grows on top, it's a flower that grows on top of it, is not a peri. So okay, let's say it's not a peri. You know, it's there. It's, it's, it's botanical purpose, Lechaura, is to protect the Evyon as it's growing. It becomes a protection for the Peri. 
the Torah says, Va'araltem orlato et perio. You should close off the orla et perio. Not only the peri, but the et of the peri. Et atafele perio. Even what's secondary to the peri. Umay nihu shomer le peri. What's the shomer for the peri? Umay nihu shomer le peri. That's the shomer. Amarava. So now we have a problem. The kafrisin should be asu, not al peri. Should be asu because of shomer le peri. So it's going to amarava. You have an orange peel. It's a shomel peri. You pick it with the orange peel. But the kafrisin, it falls off. It falls off before you pick it. it. Falls off before you pick it. Therefore, it's not a shomer. Doesn't qualify as a shomer, right? Doesn't doesn't last until the picking. So what is that? That's the he's talking about the leaves? Or he's talking about on the bottom there's like a little there's like a little hadi on the bottom of the apple. You see it when it's growing. After it grows, it goes inside. On the bottom, right? It has that has the long dad. It has a long what? Like a crown. So he says, "Hanet ha pitmashal rimon mitzdarefet." That combines for tumat ochlin. The hanet shelo nets berimon ki kafras bevyonot. The nets is some sort of a peel that grows on it and falls off, kaderim, right? Before it's picked. Before it's picked. En mitzdaref. It doesn't combine. Mid the kamar hanet shelo en mitzdaref. Alma dolav ochelu. You see, it's not a, it's not food. Vetanya gabe orla. We learned by orla. Kili peri mon the peel of the rimon, vehanet shelo and its nets. Kili per gozim the peel of nuts, vagar inin and the seeds. Hayavim be orla, a hayavin orla. So if it's hayavin orla, you see that why that is considered a shomer. It's not hayav because it's an ochel. So why is it hayav because it's a shomer? So 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 and, and you see that the nets which falls off before it's picked. It's still considered a shomer. So Ravaz, Ravaz theory, Ravaz hypothesis that what that in order to be a shomer, it has to last until it's picked off. Doesn't care, doesn't doesn't hold water because over here by the rimon, this net falls off before, and yet we consider it a shomer. Says the Gemara, Ella Amarava. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tweak it. Heicha Amrin and the Naasa lehu shomer leperi. Heicha diita b'shat Gemar Pira. So, in order for a fruit to be uh, something to be a shomer, it has to last on it till the fruit becomes considered a peri. Every fruit goes from a stage where it's unedible to a stage where it becomes unedible. At some point, edible. Sorry. At some point, we consider it a peri. When it the, the shomer has to be there when the fruit becomes a peri. If it doesn't last that long, it's not a shomer la peri. It's a shomer to a pre pre peri state. I don't know what, I don't know what you want with cooking. Okay, I don't know what, what, what you're talking about. Says the Gemara, oh, the, 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 there's a cover on the coconut. I don't, I, I didn't go to Hawaii much. So the Gemara says, Hi, 